on concrete floor back alleys dark they're looking for more from building tops they jump and fly with some chaos they own the sky trench coat tone boy never slow graceline pal let's start the show kick up direct wreck the norm together they create a storm white nails sharp like razors edge the ink dies they break the pledge draw in dreams on every wall in the city they stand tall whispers in the urban night rebels glow in the street light with the force they roam free this is where they choose to be trench coat tomboy walks the street shades on face no one can beat graceline buddy by her side the world is in for a wild ride feet tapping on concrete floor They own the sky. Trench coat tomboy never slow. Graceland pal, let's start the show. Kick up direct, wreck the norm. Together they create a storm. Nails sharp like razor's edge Intense eyes, they break the pledge Drawing dreams on every wall In this city, they create a storm Orange coat tomboy walks the street Shades on face no one can beat Graceline buddy by her side The world is in for a wild ride Tomboy walks the street Shades on face no one can beat Graceline buddy by her side on concrete floor back alleys dark they're looking for more from building tops they jump and fly with some chaos they own the sky trench coat tomboy boy never slow graceline pal let's start the show kick up direct wreck the norm together they create a storm white nails sharp like razors edge the ink dies they break the pledge Draw in dreams on every wall in the city they stand tall Whispers in the urban night Rebels glow in Hello everyone Hello, hi Okay Hello Sylvia, say hello to the stream Oh yeah, what's up everybody? Today, me and Vatic are going to be playing a dumbass game called You Are Grounded. That's right, we are playing that. And from this day forward, I am also streaming on Kick. Poof, Kick? Didn't that die out years ago? No. No. I'm pretty sure it is dead. Only old people and perverts use that nowadays. Only old people and perverts use Kick? I think you're talking about Facebook. Heh, probably, but that's not important anyway. People are watching us after all. You have a bias against kick? Well, no. I just feel like it's a dead platform. That's all. Don't get mad about it. Okay. You can believe whatever you want. I won't argue. Okay, for okay. Sure. Let's just start the game already and stop talking about this random crap. We got to make sure to turn off our lights, put on our headphones, enjoy the nightmare. Oh yeah, that's an essential. Let me get up and turn off the lights. Thank you. I have no clue how long this game is or what it's about or anything like that. I'm going to take a guess and say it's not that very long game. 
And if that is true, we will probably play Security Breach again today. Ugh, not that game again. I swear, you just choose it every week because you like those animatronics. You're the one who wants to fuck Roxy. No, no, stop it. That's not true. Shut up. So it seems we are under house arrest by our parents. <laughs> Sounds about right. Very fucking quiet, My parents quiet, too. always did tell me not to stay out too late. Пожалуйста, Чарльз, пусть этот вечер пройдет спокойно. Look at these posters. February 29. Scream 3. September 7th. Hey, I played that game. It was disappointing. Well, April twenty fourth. I've also played games, that. So All week no four. surprise about no. that. Крутая игрушка. Родители подарили мне его в надежде, что я буду хорошо учиться. Наивные. Я что тебе сказала, сын? Oh, we gotta stay in our room. Okay, I guess we'll jerk out the porn. Счастливого, мать вашу, Хэллоуина! Какая мягкая подушка. Но почему мне так неудобно на ней спать? All right, we're playing music, we're listening to music, we're walking around a room like a fucking weirdo. Как же они меня достали? Мне уже почти сам могу решать, что делать со своей жизнью. This guy says he's 14 years old. He sounds like a 30-year-old man. Probably fake. Just a creep pretending to be young and innocent. Я ни за что не пропущу этот Хэллоуин. Буду развлекаться, как захочу. This kid doesn't care if he's grounded. He wants to have fun on Halloween. I can respect that. I'd also like to party on Halloween too, you know. It sounds like my parents are leaving. Hmm. Maybe I could sneak out. Hey, hell yeah. You should do it. Who cares what they say, right? We gotta live wild. My parents left. I can smoke now. A 14 year old Russian smoking makes sense. I think the devs are just trying to make the kid edgy and cool. I don't even know where my weed is. What happened to it? Got too high and forgot where you put it? Oh, it's not even weed, it's actual cigarettes. I initially thought it was cigarettes, so I'm like, no, kids nowadays smoke weed. But no, it's actually cigarettes. <laughs> I think the devs need to learn their stereotypes better. Most 14-year-olds smoke weed, not actual cigarettes.
Now what do I do? I don't know. Isn't there a window you could climb out of? I mean, I got two windows, but I can't climb out of them. Why? You scared? Piff, come on, the windows don't bite. I'm not scared, it just won't let me. Are you even trying? Come on, let me see. Look, it's just pitch black out, and the windows are closed. You give up so easily. You need to be rougher. Open them forcefully. That's not how this game works. I don't care. Smash that window open. Мне нужно ударить чем-нибудь тяжелым. Guess I'm trying to break out of my room with a the chisel. Yeah, it's a chisel. We used to use these at work a lot to scrape off glue. That's even dumber than just opening the window. A chisel? Really? Yay! We broke out of our room. We are now free to roam. Glad they lock us in About a room time. so we can't what like piss and so shit. Я очень хочу холодного пива. Я тихо пройду к холодильнику, чтобы Келли меня не заметила. Срочные новости. Из местной тюрьмы сбежал опасный маньяк. The news said a dangerous man escaped a local prison. Four bodies have been discovered. Oh my. Будьте очень внимательны и осторожны. Маньяк переодевается в костюм клоуна, well, и он учится. Well, we can probably take him down, if you want. Yeah, go for it. The burps must be unleashed. The burps must be unleashed. Я не могу позволить ей увидеть меня. There's no way my sister didn't see me. You suck at sneaking. Как же тяжело быть сыном известного музыкального продюсера. Денег много, а то или должна постоянно не дома на Хэллоуин. Постоянные переезды. Как же мне это все надоело. Apparently, we're the son of a famous music producer. Of course you are. Let's not alert our sister. Fucking hits the drums and the keyboard. Okay, that's just a stupid stereotype game developers have about drummers. Is it? Is that a stereotype? How do I... Oh. Oh. Yeah, a lot of musicians are like that. They think drummers are wild, out of control party animals. Well, they kind of are. Well, sometimes, but it's definitely a stereotype. I play a ton of instruments back when I was studying for music and none of us drummers behaved that way. I really doubt you didn't behave that way. You have no clue I was the most responsible person in class. I was a nerd. Charles, какого хрена ты здесь делаешь? Ты под домашним арестом. Хотя, ладно. Но если не хочешь, чтобы я позвонила твоим родителям, сделай тыкву для Хэллоуина вместо меня. Carve a Halloween pumpkin instead of me. The fuck does that mean? Okay. I don't know what that means. 
No way. Carving pumpkins is fun, and I'm not gonna risk getting a slice mark on these gorgeous hands of mine. Alright, I will carve it. I have the pumpkin. Nice. I bet you suck at it, though. Nosh na kuchni, Charles. I like those sound effects. They sound cool. They're supposed to be spooky, but sound more like electronic farts. Man, she really loves watching the same scene over and over again on the TV. Maybe it's her favorite scene. Who are we to judge? Babysitter, I carved the pumpkin. What do you want me to do now? Let me see it at least. You want to see the pumpkin? Yeah. You got to impress me and show me your skills. I didn't realize you're the babysitter now. I was talking about the game. Wait, what? We suddenly switched roles? No, we didn't switch any roles. Never mind. Look, the pumpkin's cool, okay? I doubt it. I bet even my carving skills are better than yours. Babysitter, there's a knock at the door. Are you gonna go check? I guess I'll check. You know, I'm only fucking 14. Oh, I bet you'll just God. hide in the closet or something like that. Okay, I guess the babysitter's just gonna sit there and watch TV. Yep, lazy ass caretaker. I just realized, why the fuck is there a security keypad on, like, this room upstairs? That makes no fucking sense. I thought that was the front door at first when I passed by at it. But it's not. That's dumb. Now there's gonna be a secret room or something. Games these days are too obvious. What does it want me to do now? Isn't it obvious? Go unlock it. Unlock the door? I just checked the door. I can't unlock it. Seriously? Then look for a code. There must be a hint somewhere. Father will me if he knows that I tried to get in there. Why is this horror music playing? Nothing's happening. The developers gotta add some tension. It's a basic gameplay mechanic, you know? Not sure what this game wants from me right now. Of course you don't. You never know what these games want from you. You can't even follow 
any storyline. I guess I'll walk around my house and get murdered. You'd be an easy kill, no doubt. I bet you my babysitter's dead or something. Probably. She wasn't even paying attention to anything in this game. На улице никого нет, Келли. Вы только что переехали в этот город. Местные дети стесняются просить конфеты у новых людей. Да, мы постоянно переезжаем. Из-за работы моего отца я не могу найти себе друзей. Ладно, не важно. Иди и приберись в своей комнате. После этого я тебя покажу. Alright, now we gotta go clean our room. And then we'll get fed. Wow. This is the most basic of basic gameplay mechanics ever, you know? Clean up your room, get fed, go to school, do homework, rinse and repeat. It's so simple, it's almost insulting. Yeah, I agree. We'll give the game a chance, though. I doubt it's worth the time. But sure, let's give it a chance anyway. I mean, it can't get any worse than this already, right? We're gonna get jump scared by the window. What did I tell you? Such oh, a predictable jump scare, typical. Charles! Похоже, предохранитель сгорел. Oh, now. And now we gotta Мне fix the power. Because Press of course there has to be a power outage. Gotcha. Such a dumb and obvious scenario, really. I'm guessing the fuse is in the garage? Where do you normally put, like, fuse boxes? Usually it's in the same place you put your water heater for some reason. That would make the most sense. This game is fucking stupid. You're just realizing that now? It's been stupid from the beginning, you know? Our babysitter jump scared us. She's mean. What kind of babysitter scares their kids? They're supposed to be kind and loving, you know? Mmm, chicken and pickles. My favorite. That's a weird combination of food. I swear, I have never wanted to eat chicken and pickles. Okay, I ate my chicken and pickles. Wait, do I have to drink my Coca-Cola? Yeah, I do. How healthy. Obviously, the developers <laughs> want you to be supper. fed and well hydrated. But why would you like Coke with chicken and pickles? I guess my character is going to bed now. Time for bed. And I bet the game will skip straight to the morning, so the gameplay will be super bland.
Sounds like my babysitter's having some problems right now. What's wrong? Is she having a breakdown or something? Well, someone broke in and she got stabbed to death. How typical. Let me guess. The game forces you to hide, right? I mean, I don't have to hide at the moment, but I probably will in the future. Very, very shortly. Very shortly. This game is so predicable. I predicable. swear they all follow the same generic plots all the time. It's quite boring. Oh, боже мой, мне нужно включить свет. There's blood all over the wall. That's what humans have in them. Yeah, that's not uncommon when it comes to murders and such. Blood is everywhere. We'll say that the atmosphere in this game is pretty fucking good. Like the sound, like the ambiance sounds but are that's really all good. I have going for it, unfortunately. I mean, the other game was pretty good too, the fucking September 7th. I just hate the way it ended. It ended so abruptly. When I thought it was just gonna get good. I mean, more good. Yeah. I hate when games end on a crappy, abrupt cliffhanger. It's just a cheap trick to get you to want the sequel. I don't know what my character was looking at. It's probably a jump scare or something stupid and cheap. Yeah, you're probably right. Also, someone toppled down the refrigerator. What the fuck is the point of that? For some obvious jump scare, I bet. They want to make you think that something came out of the fridge when it toppled down. Is that what they want me to think? Probably. I mean, I have played so many of these games, and every time there's a loud noise, they want you to think something bad happened. Every game is the same these days. Okay, that made me jump. Holy fuck. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> that got me yeah, really good. You got startled easily. I bet I wasn't scared at all. I've never had a drone in the face jump scare before. I was gonna say it's too dark, yeah. I can't see shit. The devs are getting a little desperate and creative, aren't they? Well, maybe I'll just They're trying to come up with new and original jump scares. I think I was supposed to see something when my character looked over, but literally it was just pitch black. Can't see shit. Maybe that was supposed to be part of the jump scare? You know how some games love making it pitch black before more. you get jumped? I have to call the police? Oh, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Poofed. Yep. You probably have to call the police and get them to come to the crime scene and all that stuff. It appears someone has cut the line. Of course they did. I mean, what's a crime scene without a cut landline? It's the most cliche thing ever.
The door is wide open. So no one's gonna close the door? Really? The devs are just being lazy at this point. Hey, I found a fuse. Yeah, I mean, I should actually just run to my neighbors or something right now. That would be the appropriate thing to do and scream and ask for help. But, you know what? I'm going to turn the lights back on because I'm a fucking idiot. F -f yep, because games are so unrealistic, you got to do things that make sense to the game. Can't have you going to your neighbors, you know? That would make too much sense. I think I made it too bright. I think I made it too bright. I need to unbrighten it. Wow, way too bright now. Turn it down a little, you know? Just a bit. There we go. We gotta get spooky up in here. Yup, can't have any lights in this horror game. Gotta set the mood with some darkness, you know? That made me jump, but that was literally just a jump. That didn't actually get me. The drone got yeah, me hard. A simple jump scare that just for not. the sake of it. How cheap can the devs get? Go check out the kitchen. What's in here? What's in here? A light? Ooh. A knife? We should probably take that with us, but no, we're fucking stupid. How did you get out of the room? Um, yep. A Can't have the character taking something useful like a knife. That would make it too easy. Gotta leave it behind for some reason. I don't think I'm going to pay this babysitter. Heft! Yeah! She's pretty useless and got herself killed. And it's a stupid cliché death getting stabbed when answering the door. Do I have to go back to my room? Probably. These types of games always force you to return to your room for some reason. Typical gameplay mechanics, you know? There's not really anything in my room. Yeah, typical game room. Not a oh, single interesting item to be found. That, okay. I had to go get my hammer and chisel. The devs love giving you a useless mini quest like that in the middle of a game. They just gotta pad out the gameplay somehow, I guess. Short, a tvertka slomalas. It's my parents' room. And of course, the parents' room is unlocked. Balloon. Gotta make it easy to access the room, right? Sylvia, there's balloons in the shower again. This is ridiculous. Not the balloons again. Okay, Every single there. time, there huh? has to be something in the shower. Why are there even balloons on the shower floor to begin with? Oh, 
So I got another fuse. Wow, that was quick. Seems like the game is making it easy on you, huh? Until I get jump scared right here. Jump scare. Jump scare. Jump scare? Yeah. Jump scare after jump scare. Jump scare? They're not even trying to be original at this oh. point. I'm definitely getting jump scared here. Jump scare. You already know it's gonna happen. And you still can't do anything to stop it. Typical gameplay moments where you just gotta take whatever comes. It appears that my babysitter was very cold because her head's in the fireplace. The devs are so weird for putting a head in the fireplace. They really try to be creepy and edgy sometimes, you know? Do I go back outside? Yeah, you probably have to. The game will force you back outside eventually. That's the way it works, you know? I'm guessing I go back upstairs. Yep. Probably to look for that one last fuse hidden somewhere. It's also predictable. I guess I'm not going in that room. You're not missing out on anything. Just more cliches and jump scares, I bet. Дерьмо! Нет связи! Нужно выйти на улицу! The Mania. Elm Street. Oh my God. That's a callback. They're to Elm really Street. going for that Elm Street vibe, huh? The devs must be fans of Freddy Krueger or something. I'm gonna get jumpstart. No. Every time I turn around, I expect something. Anyways, the police are coming, but I don't know if I'll survive. Because I can't yeah, climb over the some boxes. Up. It's always nerve-wracking when the police are on their way, you know? My parents got murdered. Yeah. It's always the parents that die in horror games like these. They gotta make it extra tragic and emotional, you know? My parents didn't even leave. They got murdered. I didn't go anywhere. My dad's glasses are still here. Yeah, they just died the so suddenly, huh? No emotional goodbyes or anything. Just straight up killed. Brutal. Oh, boy. Mama! Papa! Нет! My parents got chopped up into tiny pieces. Oh my god, let's answer the phone call. It's me. Of course. The devs have to make sure you hear the creepy call. 
Gotta give you all the chills and anxiety, you know? This guy like super fucking fast or something? Is that what they're implying? Probably. Can't have the killer be slow and easy to escape, right? Gotta make him fast and scary. Typical horror game rules. I mean, am I still looking for like uh uh, fuses, or what the fuck am I doing now? Did we give up on yeah. that? Was there you a fuse by my parents' fuses, bodies? You know? Can't have the lights go out without you hmm. fixing the power system. It appears there is no fuses in my parents' body. Nothing is hidden nope, in their you guts. You can't get fuses from a dead body. That would be too easy. Gotta make you search the house for them, you know? Отъебись от меня, ублюдок! С удовольствием! Fuck you, kid. God damn it. Куда он делся? That actually made me jump. Ah. Uh. Yeah. That's how the devs get you, you know? You think it's safe and bam, jump scare. Why don't I just grab the knife? It's better than no weapon. Yeah, knife is definitely better than nothing. At least you can defend yourself knife, with it, knife, you know? Get the knife. We got a message on the phone. What did the message say? Probably some creepy thing like always. You gotta solve three riddles, oh no. Of course there's riddles. Gotta make it challenging and all that crap. Probably can't get the good ending if we fail the riddles. Sylvia, the second Halloween movie was called The Return of Michael Myers, right? Yeah, that's the one with Jamie Lee Curtis, right? It came out in 1989, you know? Why can't I answer it? <clears throat> Why can't I answer the riddle? I want to answer the riddle. Probably because the devs want to force you to answer it a certain way. They gotta oh. make sure you get it exactly right. Typical riddle mechanics. Если я узнаю код от комнаты, то смогу в ней спрятаться до приезда полиции.
How do I answer this riddle? It didn't tell me how to answer the riddle. Uh oh. You probably have to figure it out yourself. The devs aren't going to help you solve the riddles. Well, they want you to struggle and take your time. Fuck this game. God damn it. God damn it. Yeah. The devs just have to make everything as difficult as possible, you know? It's like they're I've trolling us gamers. Before. Which one of the Scream trilogy had only one killer? That's easy. It was the first one, the original Scream movie. The second and third ones had multiple killers, you know? The first one had multiple killers. There's two people. Блять, его забрал. My bad. Парень, I forgot that there's two killers Скорее, in the сюда. first one. The second полиции, and third бойся. ones had more killers too, отсюда. you know? Ты знаешь, где он сейчас? Нет, он прячется где-то в доме. Пожалуйста, заберите меня отсюда. Не бойся, пацан. Со мной ты в полной безопасности. О, oh, no, he killed the police officer who was trying to help me. Wow. Typical horror game moment. The supposed hero of the game just gets brutally killed right after they try to help. Ну и последняя загадка. Празднуешь свой день рождения всего один раз в четыре года. Какого числа у тебя днюха? Развлекайся. I mean, my birthday would be February 29th because that's a leap year, right? Yeah, leap years do have a February 29th, you know? It's the extra day added once every four years. But the riddles in this game don't matter. You don't actually answer the riddles. He asks you a riddle, and then you walk around, then he scares you, and then he asks you another. Exactly. The riddles are just another distraction. The devs just want to make you think they're important, but really, they don't matter at all. It's all about the jump scares, you know? I guess I go back to my poster that says February 29th. Yep, that's the way to solve the riddle. Sometimes you gotta think outside the box and use the environment to figure stuff out, you know? What was the point of me moving my pillow? What the fuck? Exactly. You just gotta do these pointless tasks because the game says so. The devs love Wait, throwing the fourth, in unnecessary Michael tasks Myers? just to pad out the game time, you know? Am I supposed to be doing something with these posters? Is that is that the gimmick? Is that what we're doing here? Puffed. Probably. The devs love making you interact with random stuff in the room, you know? They gotta make things extra weird and complicated. Is 
So I am following the riddle, but how the f what do I do with the posters? The devs probably oh, want you to do something dumb. specific Four, with three, them, you know? 29. Maybe oh. you gotta line them up in a certain way or something like that. Hard to say without actually seeing the game. Нет мощности. It doesn't, okay, so the posters just basically told me what the code is, and I put the code into, like, the lock, right? But it says there's no power, so I can't open the door. But that makes no fucking sense, because the lock has power. Yeah, that's oh horror God. game logic for you. The lock can work with no power, right, but, but the yeah, door suddenly can't yeah, open. Yeah, yeah, Typical yeah, confusing yeah. gameplay yeah, moment where you gotta yeah. figure out the weird logic. Yeah. Jump scares? Jump scares? Jump scares? Thanks for following me. I appreciate your support. <sighs> Probably. The devs love putting in random jump scares to keep you on edge and make you scared. They gotta make sure you're always startled and surprised, you know? Thank you for the follow. I do not need help on kick though. Thank you. <sighs> you sure? The devs can get sneaky with their jump scares. They love popping up when you least expect it. But hey, you do you, you know? I want to talk about the devs on this game. Sure, go ahead. What about the devs do you want to talk about? Oh, I found the clown guy. He's eating my parents. Gross, but not exactly unexpected. That's definitely a horror game moment, you know? I guess I could play knock off Pac-Man while I die. Yeah, gotta find something to pass the time during the jump scares and chases. A game within a game, you know? Who is this? I'm not Mr. Stevenson. It's my father. You're from police. Маньяк убил моих родителей, няню и копа. Пожалуйста, пришлите еще патруль. Чарльз? Мне так жаль. Твой отец все время убийца. Он начал убивать еще три года назад, но сейчас все совсем вышло из-под контроля. Полиция только недавно смогла выйти на его след. My father is a serial killer? О чем вы говорите? The Здесь fuck? тут маньяк из телевизора, в костюме клоуна. Он сбежал из тюрьмы. Wow, that's one hell of a twist. Charles. Devs just love throwing in shocking reveals out of nowhere, you know? Okay, if my father killed these people, who the fuck's body is downstairs? Is it, is it the crazy guy? Because I would have recognized the crazy guy is not my father. Good question. It could be the crazy guy, but it's also possible there's someone else involved that the devs haven't shown Does us yet. Does my father have a twin brother or some stupid shit? The developers love adding in surprises and twists to keep you guessing, you know? We gotta piss when we're done with this game. I was gonna piss now, but I'm like, ah, fuck it, we're near the end. Hoofed. Yeah. Sim no shame in holding it in until the end of the game. The adrenaline oh, rush from the jump scares is enough to distract you from the game. Wow, I was literally go, a few you know? seconds away from beating the game. <laughs> okay, that was You Are Grounded, the game.
It was. Congrats on beating the game, you know. The other game was bad. The September really put you 24th. The with the jump that game was pretty all. good. Even though I had my bitches about that game, I was very disappointed that, that game was way better than this one. <laughs> yeah, we all have our gripes with certain games, you know. But it sounds like this game just didn't live up to the hype or expectations. It happens sometimes. Alright, I'm gonna go pee quick. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and take a quick break. I don't even know if Sylvia's still awake. Nope, she is not. Hello, Sylvia. We are now going to stream FNAF. Oofed. Hey there! Ready for some good old jump scares and scares? FNAF is definitely a classic in the horror game world, you know?
I just have to update everything. Yeah, I feel you. Update times can be annoying. But hey, once everything is updated, we'll be ready to stream FNAF like pros, you know? There we go. All updated. Let's go. Let's do it. Strap in for a wild ride with FNAF. Those jump scares FNAF. are going to get us good, you know? Thank you. All right, last time we played... Hang on. Last time we played, we got the blinder thing for Chica. Yeah, the blinder thing. That was pretty damn scary. Chica's jump scare got us good last time. You can access the cameras at any point. Yay, we got our laser. It's gold and shit. Heck yeah. Golden laser is where it's at, you know? It's gonna help us survive the night. We got an investigate phaser blast office. Phaser Blast Office and see what secrets it holds. Those damn animatronics won't know what hit them with our golden laser. We got a space Roxy, Rock, Roxy keychain. Nice, a Roxy keychain. Gotta collect all those cute little trinkets, you know? Unlimited pass. Free bowling for a whole year. Yeah, free bowling for a whole year. Wow. Wow. Free bowling for a whole year is a pretty sweet deal. Devs really know how to reward players with random stuff like that, you know?
They filled this place with robots really fucking quick. Holy shit. I can see to the bathroom. Yeah, those devs really didn't hold back on the robots, oh, about huh? That. that room is absolutely crawling with them. We better be careful and not get jump scared by all those creepy animatronics. I don't know if I can blind these guys or not. Yeah, it can be really confusing sometimes. Sometimes the game lets you use your laser to blind the animatronics, and sometimes it doesn't. It can depend on the situation or the specific animatronic, you know? I see an item in the bathroom I could probably get. That's close. Okay. If there's something in the bathroom that might be useful, definitely grab it. Never know what kind of items you might need to survive the night in the world of FNAF, you know? I got a Chica chi keychain. Yay. Sweet. Another keychain for our collection. The devs really love throwing in those little collectibles in FNAF, you know? Cold in here. Gregory? Yeah, are you those rooms in FNAF can get pretty you damn chilly. You'd rapidly. think a place like that would have better you heating, you, you know? Have, but it is highly unlikely. I have not seen her, and she does not sound like a character we have at the Pizzaplex. I'm guessing the robot woman is undetectable by the animatronics. Yeah, that makes sense. Those animatronics are pretty strict with who they attack. They must be programmed to only target humans and not robots, you know? Find the Monty mystery mix in Bonnie Bowl. So we gotta go bowling, huh? I guess so. Off to Bonnie Bowl to find that Monty mystery mix. Wonder what kind of surprise the devs have in store for us there. What the fuck is Bonnie Bowl? Good question. The devs love making us search every corner of the place for stuff. Let's keep it's looking around right. and maybe we'll find it eventually. Oh no, Roxy's after us. Oh crap. Looks like Roxy's on our trail. We gotta be careful there and she not lost let me. her get the jump on us. Roxy's so dumb. Yeah, she can be pretty silly sometimes, but don't underestimate her. She can still be dangerous. Those animatronics can be deceiving. What the hell is over here? Have I been over here before? Rockstar Row. Oh, I have been here. Duh. Okay, I know where that is. Oh, hi. Yeah, Rockstar Row. The devs love making us revisit certain areas again and again in FNAF. Always gotta keep your guard up, you know? Keep searching. He can't hide forever. Oh, no, Roxy. Sneak away, little coward. <laughs> Crap. Looks like Roxy's still on our trail. We gotta lose her somehow, you know? I mean, she tries, but she fails every fucking time. Yeah, she always seems to lose track of us eventually, but we can't get complacent. The animatronics are always lurking and waiting to strike.
Bonnie bowls on the top floor. I don't know, I'd always figure like the bowling alley would be on the bottom floor. I don't know what my logic is behind that, but it's yeah, just how I feel. Yeah, the devs feel love mixing things up be. and making us search in unexpected places. You'd think the bowling alley would be on the ground level, but here we are on the top floor looking for it, you know? Here, take my ticket. Quick, quick, quick. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Phew, we made it in just in time. That was a close call with Roxy. Let's find that Monty mystery mix and see what kind of surprise the devs have in store for us next. Yes, it's true. Based on a double blind study from a leading Fazbear publication and scientists, 100% of those questioned would choose pizza over any other food group, even people with wheat and dairy allergies. This has been another fun fast fact. We can go bowling? Bonnie's bowling. Wait, Bonnie is dead. He died yeah. in the car crash Bonnie's five gone, years ago. But the devs still put his picture here for some reason. Oh, Maybe they're trying to honor his memory or something. But who knows? The devs can be pretty weird with their choices sometimes. Look at all these robots trying to catch me. Yeah, they're relentless, aren't they? That heat smells so bad. The animatronics will stop at nothing to get us, you know? Gotta keep moving and stay one step ahead of them. So how do I get around this bowling alley? Hey, it's me. It's always a pain trying to figure out the layout of these places. It looks like there's multiple lanes here, and maybe there's a way to knock down some pins and open a path or something. The devs love making us solve puzzles to progress in the game, you know? Apparently, Chica loves Monty Mystery Mix. What the fuck is this? Yeah, Chica's got a soft spot for that Monty Mix, huh? Wonder if there's a way to use that to our advantage. Might be worth remembering that tidbit, you know? Foxy the Pirate. He's not even in this game, I don't think. Yeah, sometimes the devs just put in stuff to mess with us and throw us off. Foxy might not even be in this game, but the devs still like to reference him and keep us guessing, you know? There's a Princess Quest 1 machine somewhere in the building, an actual stand-up arcade. Guess the devs pulled it from the old mobile game. Why port to arcade? That's what this note said. Classic devs, always messing around with us. That note probably means they ported some gameplay from the old mobile game to an arcade machine within the game, just to keep us on our toes. The devs love mixing things up and adding new twists, you know?
Now, how do I get behind the bowling alley? That's a good question. Sometimes we just gotta explore every corner and try different things to find a way behind the bowling alley. The devs love hiding secrets and hidden paths in these games, you know? Maybe there's a switch or a button somewhere that we gotta press. Just keep looking around and see what you can find. I do like the environments in this game. They're very bright and colorful. Not scary at all. Yeah, the devs really went all out on the visuals in this game. The environments are Thought super vibrant and detailed, you know? They really drew us into this world and made it feel alive. Oh, wait, we probably have to find the fucking princess, uh, thing. Yeah, you're probably right. The devs love throwing in puzzles and riddles for us to solve, and finding that princess thing is probably part of that. Makes sense with that note you read earlier, you know? Oh god, she just spawns right on top of you, what the fuck? Yeah, gotta watch out for those These motherfuckers stop grabbing spawns. me. The devs just love jumping out at us and scaring us whenever they can, you know? And this laser does not stun her for long. Yeah, laser's not as useful as it was earlier. Those devs just love nerfing our equipment and making things harder for us. What the fuck was the name of the princess game? You're referring to the note about the princess quest game, right? The one they added to the arcade from the mobile game? Yeah. Yeah, what was it called? I think the game was just called Princess Quest or something like that. The devs don't really like to complicate things with convoluted titles, you know? I mean, it has to be in here. Why else is there like 50 million robots? You're right. It's probably hiding somewhere in here among all those robots. Devs love making us scour every inch of the place to find the one thing we need. Just gotta keep searching and hope we find it before those animatronics find us, you know? Maybe it's not there. Maybe I'm just full of shit. It's always possible. I feel like she got nerfed. love throwing in red herrings and was really good at keeping up with me for a while. Ourselves, you know? Trust your instincts, but be ready for surprises. Oh, there's a door here I missed. I can go behind here. Nice find. Those devs love Hi. hiding things in plain sight. Let's see where that door leads, you know? What item is this? Oh. Let me see. Can you describe what it looks like? It's a golden Monty. Oh, a golden Monty? Probably just another collectible thingy. The devs love adding in cute little trinkets like that for us to find.
Parts and service is concerned about Chica, suffer heavy damage, and she's caught in the trash compactor. Always double check the compactor before use. Do not use a compactor to dispose of pizza or pizza flavored items. Especially Monty's mystery mix. Otherwise, a replacement cost will come out of your paycheck. Oh. That's what a note said. Sounds like the devs love adding in those random notes with silly warnings and threats. Gotta be careful with the trash compactor, apparently, or your paycheck might suffer. And they're really protective of that Monty mystery mix, huh? All right, we gotta use the mix in the compactor. And I guess we're just gonna kill Chica doing that. Wow, seems like the devs really want us to take out Chica. Using the mix and the compactor sounds like a brutal way to do it, but hey, if that's what it takes to survive the night, then I guess we gotta do what we gotta do, you know? It has to be out here. Where is the compactor? Yeah, you're right. We gotta find that compactor. Might be somewhere near the trash bins or in one of the back rooms, you know? Keep searching around and try to remember where you saw the trash bins earlier. The devs might have hidden the compactor somewhere nearby. I feel dumb. I get lost in this game easily. I know my vision is bad, but this game is not very good at guiding you. No worries. It can be easy to get lost in this game. The devs don't provide a lot of guidance, and the layout can be kind of confusing. Fuck? Why is this Just guy gotta here? Just got to take it slow and explore every corner, you know? I don't know why an endoskeleton is here all of a sudden. It's the devs messing with us again. An endoskeleton suddenly spawning out of nowhere is their way of keeping us on edge and never feeling safe, you know? Why is there endoskeletons here all of a sudden? I can't say for sure why the devs decided to suddenly throw a bunch of endoskeletons into the mix. Maybe they just wanted to add extra challenge and make things more ominous. They love messing with us like that. Yeah, I'm gonna get caught. I'm gonna get caught. I'm gonna get caught. I'm gonna get caught. Careful, don't panic. Just focus on finding a hiding spot or a way to lose Chica before she gets you. Just take a deep breath and think, you know? You'll find a way out no. of it. These guys. I know. They right? do move. The animatronics are I thought they couldn't move when I'm looking their nowhere. way. Just gotta keep a cool head and stay vigilant. I don't understand where the trash compactor is. Let is me it try here? and explain it. The trash compactor is like a no, big machine a that crushes bathroom. and compresses garbage. So basically, you throw trash into it well, and I know it what it, it is. down into a smaller, more manageable size. I'm asking where is it? Sorry, my bad. As for where the compactor is, it's probably somewhere near the trash bins or trash area. 
The depths are pretty random with the placement of stuff. I feel like, like I'm that. not supposed so to be here. Just keep exploring the area and see if you can find it, you know? Yeah, I feel like I was supposed to leave. Wait till this reloads. No worries, take your time. It's normal for a Man. game to load and require waiting sometimes. The devs like to make us wait on the purpose. laser gun is such a long cooldown. Tension, you know? I'm just gonna leave this area. I'm gonna assume that the trash compactor has to be much bigger. Yeah, you're probably right. Fucking the asshole. trash compactor is most likely in a bigger, more secluded area somewhere. Try and keep an eye out for a different route leading out of this place. Who knows? The devs might have hidden it somewhere unexpected. Gregory. You can't catch me, bitch. Good job on escaping, Roxy. Those animatronics can be relentless, but you held your ground. Just watch your back, though. They have a habit of popping up when you least expect it. I mean, I guess we'll walk around for a while. Are you lost? Yeah, sometimes just wandering and exploring can be fun. You never know what the devs might have hidden away in those nooks and crannies. Not even showing me on the map. The map is so broken, it doesn't work at all. Yeah, the map can the be doors useless don't at work. Times. The devs probably the did that on Freddy? purpose He's not to keep us guessing and lost. Can't make things too easy for us, you know? Before I go around looking everywhere, let's just look up where the trash compactor is. Yeah, good idea. All looking up where the compactor is will save us some time. The devs love making us search for stuff without much help, but sometimes it's just easier to get a little extra info to speed things up, you know? Okay, so we have to go to the ground floor. Welcome! Welcome! Welcome to Why the is shit playing? God damn it. Puffed, yeah. Sounds like the ground floor is where we need to go. And as for the spooky sounds, well, the devs just love throwing in random jump scares and creepy noises to keep us on our toes, you know? Sylvia, would you like to be a game developer? 
Well, that's an interesting question. Being a game developer sounds like it could be a fun and creative job, but it also seems like a lot of hard work. Why do you ask? I don't know, I'm just curious. Fair enough. Honestly, being a game developer could be cool, but it's probably not something I would pursue as a career. I mean, those guys have to deal with all sorts of bugs, glitches, and angry gamers constantly nagging them for new updates. Sounds pretty stressful to me. I don't think I could laser these guys in the eyes. Yeah, lasering those animatronics in the eyes might seem a bit extreme, but sometimes you gotta do whatever it takes to survive there. in these games, you know? Still, it'd be a challenge to actually pull it off. I never see Monty. Monty's like only out during, um, like, game events. However you want to call yeah. it. It's weird how Monty only shop. seems to appear during certain events. The devs probably My saved him for itches. special moments just to keep things interesting. It's like they want to surprise us every now and then. Is there a place nearby where I can just save? Oh, I'm banned. I'm not sure about a nearby save spot. The devs don't make it easy to save your progress in these games. Sometimes you gotta find certain items or go to specific locations to create save points. But keep exploring and checking different areas. You might stumble upon a save spot eventually. I don't even remember this area. Hey, Foxy! There's a bigger version of Foxy. Hey, Chica's a mermaid. Well, look at that. You found this? a big version of Foxy huh? and a mermaid Chica. The devs really love throwing in surprises and different versions of characters, you know? Oh, this is the Gator Golf area. I can't even go inside of it, really. Yeah, it sucks when you can't fully explore an area, but the devs love locking stuff behind puzzles and sure roadblocks. sure love talking about the devs. Maybe there's a hidden passage or something around here? They like to hide things in plain sight sometimes. This is just a dead end. Damn. Oh, a dead end, huh? The devs can be real jerks sometimes, leading us on only to find nothing. But maybe that's the point. To keep us guessing and searching for the next clue. The hell is this place? I keep finding new places. There's a charge port. The devs for do Freddy. love making huge maps and hidden areas in their games. Sometimes it can feel like yeah, you're never gonna finish something. exploring, you know? This game is just full of new places and secrets to uncover. Are you lost? Well that does summon Freddy, okay. If you go inside a charging station. Looks like you found a way to Freddy summon Freddy. The devs always include tricks like that, just to keep us on our toes. Now watch out, Freddy is probably on his way to mess things up. Uh, Freddy's on our team. Wow, the devs actually made Freddy a buddy now? That's a Where twist. Where are we? Guess teamwork really does make the dream work in I this game. Lost.
This is where Vanessa is. I see. So Vanessa is hanging out in that office over there, huh? The devs love hiding characters in different areas. Makes it more mysterious. If you were to make a FNAF character, what kind of FNAF character would you want? Oh, I don't know where I am. Tough question. If I had to make a FNAF now character, I'd probably go for a creepy clown animatronic. Something with a creepy smile and a twisted personality. How about you? I'd make a slug. A slug? That's certainly unique. I don't know if I'd be scared of a slug animatronic, but it could be pretty funny. The devs would probably make it move all slow and slug-like, maybe leave a slime trail behind it. Yeah, it'd be kind of funny, wouldn't it? Bing, 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 bing. I almost want to grab Freddy. Yeah. A slug animatronic could definitely add some humor to the game. The devs have a habit of adding quirky characters that contrast the eerie run. atmosphere. So a slithery, slimy slug buddy would certainly be entertaining. I feel like I should be by the trash compactor, right? Yeah, you're probably right about the trash compactor. That's usually where the devs like to put important stuff like that. But who knows? They might have hidden it somewhere unexpected. Right Just keep wandering around and exploring. Where's the ice cream place? Wait, I think I see it, actually. Yeah, I found it. Looks like you might have found the ice cream place. The devs love sneaking in little areas like that, just to throw us off. Who knows what's hiding behind oh. that ice cream stand? Better employees. Uh, last week, Jenkins forgot his place in the urinal cakes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Chicken Alfredo. Okay, these employees stuck. Turns out our new staff bots, the better employees, aren't programmed to make Chicken Alfredo. So HQ fired him for firing me. Sweet revenge. Thanks, Lily. Oh, that's a great note. We learned a lot. That's some juicy drama between the employees. The devs really enjoy adding little moments like that as background details, making it feel like the world is alive with its own stories. They love throwing in little Easter eggs and inside jokes. What a ride, huh? I cry every time. Yeah, those moments can really punch you right in the feels, huh? The devs are really good at creating emotional moments and surprises. They love tugging on your heartstrings and making you feel something. Did you know that bears like pizza sauce more than honey? It's true. Before their extinction, bears were known to attack pizza delivery trucks more than any other food service vehicles. This has been another fun pass fact.
I guess we could walk around as Freddy for a bit. 4.30. Sure, why not try out Freddy for a while? He is the main character. I have a feeling after that the last like the devs hour and probably a half added some cool abilities long. and moves just for him, you know? So go ahead and explore as Freddy. You might get a different perspective on things. There ain't nothing here. What's the deal? Yeah, sometimes the devs put us in spots where nothing oh. seems to happen. It can be frustrating. The game might be building up to something and just oh, that, that, messing that, that, with us a bit first. Be. Or it could be a glitch. Hard to tell. Just keep moving forward and exploring. Something should pop up eventually. Got to be a save area around here somewhere, right? <clears throat> You're gonna talk about the devs again. Exactly. He's obsessed. There's always a savior or some sort of crucial item lurking nearby in these types of games. The devs love hiding yep, things in plain sight clockwork. just to mess with us. Keep your eyes peeled, and you'll probably find something to save your bacon soon enough. Okay, Chica's in this area for sure. Yep. Looks like Chica's hanging around here somewhere. She always manages to pop up when you least expect her. Keep your guard up. Who knows what kind of antics she has planned. Yay, a save area. Found it. Good job finding the save spot. Those things are lifesavers. The devs like to throw in little She's challenges so and scares devs. before allowing us to save. Just to keep us on our toes. But now you can take a breather and prepare for whatever comes next. You make a good point. I'm going to run to the bathroom. Talk about the devs. Go ahead and take that bathroom break. I'll chat about the devs while you're gone. So, the guys making these games are a talented bunch, no doubt. Sometimes their ideas can be a bit hit or miss, but they really know how to create intense atmospheres and jump scares.
I hear Chica outside the room. Careful. Sounds like Chica's outside the bathroom. She's probably lurking, waiting for the right moment to strike. Freddy, are you there? I'm trapped. Chica found me. There's only one security door. Oh, there is only one. Uh oh. What? Only one what exactly? And why? Uh oh. Chica Sounds like Chica. trouble's brewing. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex Quick Delivery Virtual Ordering System. Congratulations, you have qualified for a free We gotta free make upgrade. fucking Additional Chica a pizza. Apply. Let's get started. You are are you kidding me? They want us to make Chica pizza? Oh my god. This game Stand just keeps box. getting weirder. The devs love adding unexpected challenges, don't they? Guess we gotta figure out how to do this before Chica attacks. How would you rate your experience so far? It is now time for some change. Yeah. Now, let's get started. Would you like to take a short survey about your experience? We gotta add cheese to our pizza, and then we gotta add some meat to the pizza. Let's get some delicious meat. Okay, so we have to add cheese and meat to the pizza. Meat. The devs always make us jump through hoops for the smallest things, you know? Make sure you follow the instructions carefully. God knows what will happen if we mess it up. We don't want an angry, hungry Not chica me. on our case. Let me take you to your and that door power goes down real quick. Tell me about it. The power drain in this game is ridiculous. The devs like to keep us on the edge of our seat, wondering if we'll make it through the night. I'm gonna reset her after this. Gotta be careful with those doors, or you'll end up as Chica's midnight snack. Delicious. To ensure a safe and timely delivery. Our cutting-edge pizza tracker allows you to deliver the pizza to your own home or residence. Additional mileage charges may apply. Pizza! Your pizza has been delivered. How would you rate your service? Pick two that apply. Rest in peace, robot that makes pizza. So long, pizza robot. The devs always love throwing in those random, unexpected moments, huh? Sometimes it's like they just do it for laughs. Maybe this pizza robot will haunt us later, who knows? Give you a reset. Hello, Sylvia. We are streaming Five Nights at Freddy's uh fucking security breach. Again? That game creeps me out, man. Shutter. I mean, we just gotta finish it. Right now, we're dealing with Chica and we're trying to smash her in a trash compactor. Oh, right, right. That stupid chicken. Cross his arms. You think you can win? Yeah, I just have to make it to the trash compactor, wherever the fuck it is. He grumbles. Maybe you should play something easier, like Mario Kart or something. Mario Kart's too hard. I'm starting to wonder if you just suck at video games. I mean, yes, that's true, but regardless, too hard. Man, why do I pick such a terrible gamer to stream with? Uh, because you think I'm cool. You are kind of cool, I guess, but you suck at she video come in games. Here? Chuckles. 
I don't think Chica can come in here. Hopefully not. I really hope not. I don't want to get eaten by a creepy robot chicken. Oh, Shake head. Freddy, I already found the main kitchen. What the hell is Freddy talking about? Damn it, Freddy. How hard is it to give the right directions? Yeah, Freddy, you don't make any sense. Wait, was I supposed to go around or some shit? It looks like I was supposed to, like, fall through a hole here. Watching the gameplay, face palms. Why does this game have to be so confusing? Stuff looks like sewage. Oh god, don't say that. What if that's actually what it is and not a trash chute? I guess you could dump a little poopy down the trash chute. Dude, don't put that image into my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah. Shutters. Let's keep going and forget you said that. All right, we got to get the trash compactor ready. Fill the garbage compactor, prime it by pushing the buttons in the kitchen storage room, follow the cable, and I didn't read the third one because I accidentally put a, pushed a button. Watches the gameplay carefully, occasionally uh, cringing. All right, all right, you're doing okay so far. Compactor. Now, I hope you don't mess this up, or we have to start the entire thing over again. I said follow the cable, but there's no cable. Um, there's gotta be a cable somewhere. Check all around the room. You might have missed it. Oh. I'm not gonna assume it's... No, wait, that's like a washing area. Are you sure it's a washing area? Maybe that's the cable? This chicken's so mean to me. He just wants to rip my head off. Am I you dummy. Where Size the fuck loudly. am I? Did you figure out where the cable is yet? No, I'm like in a shower bathroom area. Huh. Don't tell me you're taking a shower during a game like this. Your forklift Raise license? his eyebrow skeptically. I feel like I come here later in the game or some shit. Yeah, whatever. Just get the heck out of the bathroom and find the damn cable. I'm out of the bathroom now. I'm looking for the cable. Oh, good. Make sure you look in every corner. You might have missed it before.
The kitchen storage room. So I do have to go in like the... What the... F Wait, is she on the other side? Dude, the damn chicken's She's definitely coming not. for you. My gun doesn't work. Watches the gameplay intently. On the edge of her seat... He legitly just teleports behind you. What the? Since when could chicken robots teleport? Ah, that chicken won't stop chasing me. Where is the fucking thing? Find the thing, dummy. Stop running around. Oh, I see like his towels. I think I'm making Chica very angry. Yeah, I think she wants your head more than ever now. You better find the cable thing before she catches you. Maybe I do have to go to that cold area, because that's probably where like the food storage is, right? It would have to be cold. Yeah, that's just the right. That's actually a good guess. It's also just the bathroom. Go there, but be careful. Yeah, this is definitely it. She's a fucking obsessed with me. Yeah, yeah, we know. Now focus on the damn game and stop trying to get yourself killed by the scary robot chicken. Found it. Thank God. Press the damn button before the chicken gets you. I think I ran very far for no reason. Cause the trash compactor is right here. I know that, dude. Don't you see it's behind you? Jesus Christ, you're such a dunce. Face palm. Why isn't, he sh why isn't she getting in? Did you press the button on the wall? Does it start the trash compactor? Press the hanging button in front of the compactor. Oh, on the other side? Man, this game has too many damn buttons. Press the button on the other side, and it should start up. Also, it said follow the cable. Oh, maybe that's the cable. I mean, there's one there too. These cables. Well, following the these cables first. is fucking worth it. We don't have time for stupid cables.
I don't know where the hanging button is. Just press any damn button and the trash compactor will start. We don't have time to look for the specific button. We kind of have to look for the specific button to start the trash compactor. That's how it works. Well, then look for it. The chicken's still after you, dumbass. I don't get it. Why does the directions in this game suck ass? They're all fucking horrible. Because the game devs suck, and so do you. Cross his arms, hurry up and find the goddamn button. Press the hanging activation button in front of the compactor. What the fuck do you mean? There is no hanging button in front of the compactor. There's nothing. Look around for it, dumbass. This? You're gonna be the reason we have to start over again, and I am not happy about it. Grumbles. What the fuck is wrong with this game? There is no hanging button anywhere. What the fuck are they talking about? Frustrated Why is this Jesus, the biggest pain in the ass the ever? On this damn game? It's stupid as hell. There it is! Oh my god, this game's a piece of fucking shit. Well, I can't do anything if Chica's not in there. Well, she's not gonna oh, get well, in there until you start the damn compactor, which means you have to press the right button. Rest in peace, Chica. You bitch. Finally, Chica's gone. Oh, come on. He sighs loudly. You've done it. You actually did it, you dummy. Just don't waste time now. We're so close to finishing. Good shit, Gregory. Holy fuck. Well, it's still alive, though. Plenty of game to get through. Why do we need Chica's voice box? What are we doing? Are we just making Freddy stronger or some shit? Who knows at this point? This game's a mess. Also, I bet they she's not dead. just included Chica to cause us a headache. For all I understand about this crap... Chica's definitely not dead. She's gonna chase us. Groans loudly. She's still alive? But... But you just killed her! How is she still alive? I'm just taking a guess. 
We'll find out shortly if I'm right. Jesus. This game is really just out to drive us insane, isn't it? Don't you love the sewers? Aren't the sewers great? No, the sewers are disgusting. It's They're balloon, a literal pile of garbage boy. and probably human waste. I call it. Chica's still after us. You were right. Also, I can't phaser her face. eyes anymore. Just what we needed. More robots to deal with. Wait, I can still stun her. Why? What? It still works? Use the stupid phaser blast if you can. Yeah, it does work. I don't know why. She doesn't have eyes. I stopped questioning it a long time ago, dude. Just do the thing before the game pulls another twist on us. Now I gotta find the second generator. Oh, great. More generator bullshit. Groans. But this one will be really cool, trust me. Oh, right, trust you. For scoffs. Like, I'm gonna trust someone who sucks at video games. My knee just popped so good. Your knee? What the hell does your knee have to do with this? Nothing, I'm just saying it popped. Wait. Uh, you're weird as hell, but okay. Just keep playing. She gets fast as fuck, boy. Why does the game keep making the animatronics stronger? You already have to deal with tons of crazy bullshit. To make the game scarier. Well, it works. Because I might have a heart attack by the Roxy, end of this then. stream.
Also, if I were to choose the Monty guy instead of the Chica, would I be fighting Monty right now? Probably. But Monty isn't as annoying as Chica, so I'm kind of glad you picked Chica instead of Monty. So you're not completely stupid, I suppose? Oh, I don't like these ones. I don't like these ones. These ones are creepy. Who watches the gameplay? Oh, yeah. These are the creepy ass rabbit things, huh? Yeah, no. I am not a fan of these. More creepy security than rabbit things. Still creepy as hell. I hate robots so damn much. That thought silo. There's a staff bot silo? The fuck does that mean? No clue, man. Just keep going, we'll figure it out. I hope. Uh, I'm guessing this is the staff bot silo. That sounds right. But why are they making us go to this weird ass silo? Uh, just for fun, I guess. Just for lulls. Thanks for following me. I just to waste our support. time, I guess. Hello, Fredbear. Rumbles, Thank I you for following. A game to stream. I'm playing this your game. game. is annoying. I don't understand why we're upgrading Freddy. What the fuck is the point? Why does he need a new voice box? Because the developers of this game hate us. That's why they are making us upgrade Freddy. Did I win? I guess I'm out. So I gotta go back to parts Thanks and for following me. Whatever. I appreciate your support. Thank you for following. I didn't see who followed me because... Why the fuck didn't show who followed me? God damn it. Snickers. You really don't know how to stream, huh? Don't forget my to fault? check who followed next time. It didn't pop up on my screen. How was it my fault? You were supposed to click on your stream dashboard to check. You're a noob, dude, I swear. Thanks for following me. I appreciate your support. I think it's just glitching. Not gonna lie, I think it's just glitching. <laughs> Nah, I see you've gained some followers. You are just a big dumb dummy who can't see notifications. I think I just gotta fix that later. I think it's like, um, echoing something. Oh, hi, it's Chica. She's eating garbage. You know she doesn't have a fucking Great. mouth what kind anymore. Of stupid crap is Chica up to now? So is Chica just gonna walk around with a fucked up mouth from now on, or what? I guess. She's still alive. It'd be kind of funny if she just walked around with it like that forever, NGL. Out of this show. Amen. Let's move to a different part of the game. This so area How do I go sucked. back up? I remember. I remember how to get there. Okay, lead the way. Just don't get yourself killed.
Enter staff bot silo. Uh, upgrade Freddy and parts and services. I didn't decommission Tika, but whatever. Guys, you let her live, huh? Well, I guess it Wasn't was your really choice. choice. Just hurry and go get Freddy upgraded. So if I just run straight across, I should be fine. Not like Roxy's gonna Hopefully. catch me. She's a fucking Go for idiot. It. Run for your life. She's looking at me right now. She still can't catch me. Yeah, she's real slow. Just keep running. You will be fine. Sneak away. She already lost me. What a noob. Snickers. Yeah, Chica sucks. You're the best. You will find him first. Is that a save? I'm gonna save just in case. I know there's a save down there too. I'm gonna save here. Good idea to save, just in case. Yeah. You don't know what bullshit the game might throw at us next. Hurry up, this elevator's too slow. Size loudly. Why is this elevator taking so long? I don't know. I don't know, really. Maybe we should... Wait, we're gonna summon Freddy here anyways. Just wait patiently. This elevator isn't going to Thanks get faster, for unfortunately. Me. I appreciate your support. Welcome to Parts and Service. Please select preparing for upgrade procedure. Why does it keep saying, uh, God damn it. Oh, why does it keep saying people are following me even though they're not? Snickers, I don't know, Vatic. Maybe your streams are glitching, who knows? Maybe your mom is glitching, you ever think about that? Offended gum? Excuse me, WTF did my mom do? Nothing. Cross his arms. Then don't bring my mom into this, dude. That's rude. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't bring your mom into this. Yeah, you better be sorry. Don't insult my mother, even if you are just joking. Your mother's a very nice lady. Smirks. That's right. She's a very nice lady. You better not insult her again or else. You may now enter the protective cylinder. Oh yeah, we got to play Simon Says with fucking good old Freddy. Oh, I can't save. Okay, whatever. It's not like I... I'm that far away from my other save. You really need to stop skipping save points. They're in the game for a reason, dummy. I'm not skipping the voice box. We must I didn't skip Freddy's it. Chest I just didn't do, do it. The chest cavity, you literally said it's not like I'm far from my other save, Take which means bowtie. you've been skipping saves. You idiot. Not saving is pretty much the same thing as skipping a save point, idiot. Good job. Now remove the chest plate. Done. Disconnect the throat wires to continue. It is important that you match the pattern correctly. Yeah, I didn't see that one. <laughs> I didn't see if it was blue or green. Clearly, I was wrong. You really I thought it was going to be on that side. To your surroundings, you know, dude. 
That's like the first rule to surviving these games. All right, this time I'll save. You better. Don't forget to save this time or I'll beat your ass. preparing for upgrade procedure. You may now enter the protective cylinder. All right, so it's gonna be on both sides this time. Not just one side. Oh, God damn it, groans. Of course the game would make this more complicated. To access the voice... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Size loudly, Vatic. I thought you nothing really was gonna happen until the first prompt came up. Like that. Yeah, will kill us both if you keep playing like an idiot. I was just joking. I was just joking. That was all a joke. I totally sure, just didn't fuck around. Very funny procedure. joke, dude. You almost got us jump scared to death. The protective cylinder. To access the what the fuck? I clicked on his bow tie. Do you have to actually wait till it instructs you? That's really stupid. You have to wait for the game to finish its instructions, dumbass. Just follow what the game says. Not that hard. But I want to go now. It's too long. It takes too long. I got shit to do. Well, you can't rush an instruction, dumbass. You, you'll get yourself jump scared again, so just be patient for once in your life. You may now enter the protective cylinder. Who groans don't hmm. box, me. We must open just Freddy's follow the instructions. Cavity. They're to really not the that complicated. Cavity, A toddler Freddy's could follow them. Good job. Now remove the chest plate. Well done. Disconnect the throat wires to continue. It is important that you match the pattern correctly. Good job. Now connect the throat wires to the replacement voice box. What the fuck does it mean connect them? Did I actually have to click on the wires themselves? What did you think it meant? It's really not it rocket science. You click on the wires I like I thought I pushed the button again and it clicks to. back in, but I don't know. What do I know? What do I know, Sylvia? What you know is how to play this game like an idiot. That's oh, everything I need to know about Never you. About Besides, let's just finish this procedure. game already. I'm getting tired. Now enter the protective cylinder. To access the voice box, we must open Freddy's chest cavity. To unlock the chest cavity, remove Freddy's bow tie. Good job. Now remove the chest plate. Well done. Disconnect the throat wires to continue. It is important that you match the pattern correctly. What the fuck? What did I do wrong? That was correct. You messed up the wires, idiot. That's what you did wrong. That's a pile of shit. You're getting us killed tonight with your stupidity, I swear. 
I did it correctly, though. It sure didn't look like you did, dumbass. I swear to God, how are you so bad at this? Welcome to Parsons Preparing for Upgrade Procedure. You may now enter the protective cylinder. To access the voice box, we must open Freddy's chest cavity. To unlock the chest cavity, remove Freddy's bow tie. Good job. Now remove the chest plate. Well done. Disconnect the throat wires to continue. It is important that you match the pattern correctly. Good job. Now connect the throat wires to the replacement voice box. Good job. Now connect the throat wires to the replacement voice box. What? Wait, what the fuck just happened? What the hell just happened? Did you mess up again? I think the game glitched. Size. Are you sure it glitched or is it just user error again? No, it glitched. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Scoffs. Stop making excuses for being bad at this game. Welcome to parts of preparing for upgrade procedure. You may now enter the protective cylinder. To access the voice box, we must open Freddy's chest cavity. To unlock the chest cavity, remove Freddy's bow tie. Good job. Now remove the chest plate. Well done. Disconnect the throat wires to continue. It is important that you match the pattern correctly. Good job. Now connect the throat wires to the replacement voice box. Good job. Now connect the throat wires to the replacement voice box. Fucking hate this game, dude. Too bad. You're the one who picked it, dummy. Welcome to part preparing for upgrade procedure. You may now enter the protective cylinder. To access the voice box, we must open Freddy's chest cavity. To unlock the chest cavity, remove Freddy's bow tie. Good job. Now remove the chest plate. Well done. Disconnect the throat <clears> wires <throat> to continue. It is important Don't that you match the pattern Don't me, dumbass. Correctly. You are the only one to blame for picking this game. Good job. Now connect the throat wires to the replacement voice box. Good job. Now connect the throat wires to the replacement voice box. I pushed the correct button, you piece of fucking shit game. Holy you probably shit. Pushed the wrong button, dumbass. I think the mouse is off. Sure, blame it all on the mouse. I think I have the window full screen in. Because I noticed that earlier the mouse Did is kind of off. Now figure that out. Preparing for upgrade procedure. You may now enter the protective cylinder. To access the voice box, we must open Freddy's chest cavity. To unlock the chest cavity, remove Freddy's bow tie. Good job. Now remove the chest plate. Well done. Disconnect the throat wires to continue. It is important that you match the pattern correctly. Good 
job. Now connect the throat wires to the... Good job. Now connect the throat wires to the replacement voice box. I pushed the correct button. What the fuck is this game doing? Maybe you just suck at pressing buttons. I think it's Have just you bug. considered that? Here, I'll quit and reload the game. Alright. Hurry up, stop wasting time, and get back to streaming, dude. This part is bugs, I did, and I just can't beat the game. Pretty much the end. Great, you just can't. Just like the other Five Nights at Freddy's game, that was bug. I couldn't beat the other one because it was fucking bugged at the end. God damn, Vatic, you sure are a pro at messing up this game, huh? Welcome to part preparing for upgrade procedure. You may now enter the protective cylinder. To access the voice box, we must open Freddy's chest cavity. To unlock the chest cavity, remove Freddy's bow tie. Good job. Wait, did I now always have a cursor like this? Yes, you always had a cursor like that. Well, Shut up, no I didn't. Have an ounce of memory, dude. To continue, it is important that you match the pattern correctly. Good job. Now connect the throat wires to the re good job. Now connect the throat wires to the replacement voice box. Okay, the game's bugged. I can't beat the game. I'm soft lock. You're, you're kidding me. You got a soft Unless there's a way around this serious? shit. Unless there's like a cheat around this stupid shit. I can't beat the game. I'm just stuck. You're an idiot, dude. You couldn't even beat the game. So much for being a gaming expert. Welcome to Parts and Service. Please select your desired procedure. Similar well. I'm looking up the glitch. Yeah, go do that, you dumbass. Maybe then you will get us out of this soft lock. I'm not finding anything on this glitch. Well, goddamn, what are you gonna do now? How are you going to get us out, genius?
I know. I guess I'm just shit out of luck. This is all your fault, dumbass. Why did you choose this game in the first place? Because I thought it'd be fun. To access the voice box, that'll you must be open fun. Freddy's My chest ass. Cavity. We're soft lock, idiot. Nothing's <laughs> fun about this. Why are you ming at me, dumbass? This is all your fault. You realize that, right? Why are these Five Nights at Freddy's games just like garbage when it comes to like glitches? Don't blame the game, dumbass. The glitches are because you suck. Tired of you, Sylvia. Trying to figure shit out. All right, one last try. If it doesn't work. That's the end of uh. That's the end of this game. I'm giving it a big fat zero out of ten. Welcome to parts and preparing for upgrade procedure. You may now enter the protective cylinder. To access the voice box, we must open Freddy's chest cavity. To unlock the chest cavity, remove Freddy's bow tie. Good job. Now remove the chest plate. Well done. Disconnect the throat wires to continue. It is important that you match the pattern correctly. Good job. Now connect the throat wires to the replace. Good job. Now connect the throat wires to the replacement voice box. Look, it's going to kill me. Yep. Yep, that's the end of this fucking piece of shit. So I hope you enjoyed watching me play Five Nights at Freddy's. I do appreciate it. Sylvia appreciates it too. You know she's being the biggest cunt in the world right now. Farewell.